Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Always G3. And it's your boy Marcus 5 Mark. You tuning in from Inside, Inside the Slab. Q&A edition. Young nigga, I keep a chick. I keep my people blessed. Riding wrong, trying to see what's next. Where my people at? Johnny Dane, come and freeze my neck. I want VVS. Hear the talk. They say three up next. We gon' see them next. Boy, cold. Gotta freeze. Hey, what's going on? You tuning back in from Inside the Slab. Shit. Today we got a Q and A. People been asking questions. It's time to get them hoes answered. We got my boy Marcus Five coming in today. He finna ask me a couple of questions. I'm finna get them answered. Shit, let's see if the answers are what y'all wanted tonight. Yeah, I like answering questions. Some people be having some good questions. Some people be having questions that I feel like should not be fucking answered. Though. Like, be common sense. I'm a boy Five in this hole. Yeah, I'm gonna ask yeah, so the people been asking questions, and I heard that you the man that's gonna ask them for them to me, so I can answer them hoes for them through you. Alright, first question was, how old am I? Shit, I'm 19. Yeah. I'll be at certain places, people will think that I'm like 22, 23. I'll be like, hell no, nah. I give you two more eight. One, I think it's my beard, you know what I'm saying? I got this big, big ass. Oh. Yeah, too, you know, it just, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I'm trying to say, bro. I'm cocky, I'm built. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't yeah. feel you, so I'm skinny, nigga, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But, hey, so, yeah. yeah. I'm 19, just, just, I'm turning 20 at the end of the year, though, but yeah, I'm 19 for right now. Hey, when's the new music coming out? Cause man, hey, we been hearing this stuff. You been, you been having, you know what I'm saying? You been posting on the ground, but at the same time, you ain't been dropping on the music. You been wanting some new music. We been hearing this, you know what I'm saying? Shit, hold up. We, we need some more, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna drop some more. Shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. This quarantine shit with this virus, it was, it's, I ain't gonna say it's fucking shit up, but I can't just go to the yo as much as I wanted to, so when I can, I go record and hold on to that. I'm trying to get like videos together and shit, so be on the lookout for them hoes. I don't want to just drop music, drop music, and then run out and can't go back to the studio, you get what I'm saying, and then end up, then like, fuck, I'm, I'm gonna throw out some more music this week or this month. So, it's been a little iffy, but I do plan on dropping some music before this month is over. Shit, the show. Some music and some music videos will be dropped before the month of April. Is over. How much music will we be looking at? Shit, probably like a like an EP work. Try to drop like six, seven songs. Be on the lookout for that. Like four, five by, music videos. By the end of the month, right? You say by the end of the month. Be on the lookout yeah. for that by the end of the month. Oh, yeah, man. for sure. Mm -hmm. What pushed you to, you know what I'm saying, to get into this music career, into this rest career? Well, one thing that I know for sure is competition. I love competition. Okay. Competition is one thing that I feel like kind of drives the human being, you know, as a civilization. If you look at certain people doing certain shit, it's somebody that they look at it, that they want to either be better than or be just as good as. It's our human nature. If I see one dude doing something that I'm doing, and if he doing it better than me, I ain't going to hate, but I'm going to be like, damn, it's going to make me want to go ahead and push with it because I see somebody else that's doing it as good or even better than I am. And like I say, not to hate, but to know, hey, if he doing it, I can too. You know what I'm saying? Like, and why, why push his foot on what I'm doing, seeing that somebody else doing it better than I can? I got to come on with it. Yeah. You know, it's like a boost of self-esteem. All right, so next question. Give me your five best rappers that you would pick in the game. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. My top five artists right now have to be Lil Jeremy. Why would you pick Lil Jeremy? Man, I ain't gonna lie. That motherfucker Lil Jeremy, that, that nigga hard, bro. I like his delivery and, and his approach to this shit is different. You know what I'm saying? It's... it's it's a lot of motherfuckers that's out here doing the same shit over and over and over and over and over. And not just, I mean, as in different artists, but one artist doing the same shit over and over in different songs. I mean, after a while, you kind of want to breath of fresh air from that shit. 
you want to switch the game. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that little, that little Jeremy do for shit show. And that's one thing that all top five of my artists gonna have in common. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out the way now. Like all top five of my artists are very versatile. It's not a, 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 a very common arithmetic groove that they own. They'll get on one song one way, then change it up entirely. Before I have to probably be Lil Wayne. See, a lot of people kind of forget about Lil Wayne. He he kind of started that punchline shit. He, he kind of took off with it. It's not just because he was one of the first people doing it, but it's how he did it. Like, like I heard shit like that Lil Wayne said that I kind of throw a nigga the fuck out like. You drop your phone and she catch it, call it screen I mean, that's not something that he said, but like that, the punchline, like the, the, the ironicness in it, I, I like that shit. That shit is just clever. Taking that into consideration with the versatility in his music also is, is a way to kind of learn a song with uh, a certain goal. It's like, I know what I want to do with this song. I want to do that, and then that's it. The number three artist. I ain't gonna lie, I had to put my nigga Jack Harlow on that motherfucker. A real definition of pure versatility and some different shit for sure. I don't know if y'all heard that boy shit. Check out his uh his new song, What's Poppin'? That bitch is hard than a motherfucker. Brand new whip, just hot ten. And then it's not even just that. It's previous songs prior to that song. You can hear like the, the versatility and the change in his music all together, him finding himself in his music is is crazy. Crazy. Okay, your number two artist. Number two? Number two gotta be Kevin Gates. My nigga my nigga Kevin Gates, he's so raw with it. It's to the point to where some motherfuckers will say that he just be saying shit that don't make sense. Hey, you can keep saying that shit. But, hey, a stupid motherfucker gonna think a smart motherfucker saying some dumb shit because they don't understand what he's saying. Because Kevin Gates, that nigga there is really on some shit. The shit that man say and the way he put it is outstanding. It's, it's phenomenal. I, I've never, that that's the true meaning right there also of, of musicianship. Okay, your number one artist. Always G3, go follow me on everything. Instagram, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> I'm on YouTube, everything at Always G3. Don't no fuck with it. So you are your number one artist. You gotta be. You always gotta be your number one in everything. If you don't feel like that you the best at what you're doing, the fuck you even doing it for? I mean, that's real. It's gonna come a time where you feel like it is somebody doing something better than you. But it's only up to you to know that you can still do way better than what you're doing. Just because they're doing it better than you right now, but I mean, you ain't gonna get better at it. And then, you know, look, we right back here being the best person at it. Being the best is just an opinion word. So, you might as well be your best, if anything, because if you can't look at yourself like the best at what you're doing, it's a problem. Okay, last question. What do you see yourself in five years? In five years? Shit. That's 2025. By then, I expect myself to be able to put myself and my family, whatever life that they felt like pursuing, but finances wouldn't letting that happen. Shit, it's, it's gonna happen. Business, uh, hobbies, everything. It's, 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 I'm gonna put my people on. And in five years, I see us making a lot of big business moves and making a lot of financial progress within the future. So thank you guys. You heard it first here with your boy. Always G3. You know what I'm saying? Tell them once again where they can find you, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I'm on Instagram. You can catch me on Twitter. You got me on YouTube. I'm on everything. It will be always G3 everyone, you know what I'm saying? And it's your boy Marcus 5 Marks. You tuning in from inside the slab. Some people in the background ain't no coming.